his uh, showbiz quality. When he got on stage, he really turned it on. I'm not, I'm not formally trained. I, I've, I've never had a lesson in my life. So everything I've done has been with these. What I love is, it's very simple, being in a room with other good players and hopefully with other players who are better than I am. Well, I've been almost entirely on the road with a guy called Boris Grabenshikov in Russia. Uh, he's kind of the Russian Bob Dylan. Before that, I was with a, a band called Moving Hearts, who are, are kind of Celtic fusion legends, with the likes of Davy Spillane, who's the great pipe player who's played for those people who don't know anything about folk music, will definitely have heard him on Titanic. He's the pipe player in Titanic and all that river dance stuff. I'm about to do a tour later in the year with Rona Keating. The project I was working on today was, well, essentially it was just a, a rehearsal with uh, Brian Morrison. The idea being that I might do some summer shows. I'm only re I've only ever been interested in being part of a really good ensemble. Brian Connor and the string players, Rod Patterson. Um, trying to provide as colourful and as musical and as supportive of backing for the artist, in this case John Lindsay the artist. So you're trying to make him happy, make his day, make it musical, make a dream of sorts come true. And that's that's a rare privilege. I mean it really is. I mean to be able to, to you know to do that for a living, I think is quite special. The route with which you know we all take to find ourselves in the room. So your dad you know, who joins the RUC when he's 18 and comes all the way through the troubles and is stationed in Derry and becomes, you know, a high-ranking officer and survives all of that. My God. And then me, I'm kind of, you know, I'm from Derry as well. I'm kind of brought up in the bog side and technically I'm on the other side of all of that. It all ends. Brian Connor and, and, and Rod come from their area and we all end up in a room one day making music. That is the joy of what we all do. It, it never ceases to enchant me, I have to say. I mean, the studio, it can be intimidating. Uh, John was fantastic in the studio. He took to it like a duck to water. It's like he'd always been there. The live gig was, it's the first time I've, I've, I've prepped for a recording with a live gig in front of an audience. Touch genius. A good record is capturing a performance. And I think that's what Brian set out to do. What really surprised me was John's uh, his uh, showbiz quality. When he got on stage, he really turned it on. I thought, oh my God, this guy used to be a cop. He's really? He's just kind of a natural performer. He was so at ease on that stage, so comfortable with an audience, and that's that's a gift. Each other.